जय राधे जय कृष्ण जय बृंदा दे एवरी वन इन वृंदावन समथिंग हैपन्स टू यू even if you only rest there this effect is happening even if you only walk through vrindavan if you greet its residents something happens to you that is so beautiful you become attracted to krishna and your burdens go from you especially when you meditate about radha's fourth uh, quality quality ujwala smita she smiles very brightly i first became introduced about thinking or meditating about a divine smile when i was uh, in a conference where buddhist monk uh, said how when you meditate about the smile of buddha you tend to take yourself less serious uh, then later i found in the bhagavatam that um, one should meditate about hari's smile because by this meditation the ocean of tears is evaporated A smile they say is the shortest distance between two people. So when Radharani smiles at Krishna, Krishna is very fascinated. When she sees Krishna, she experiences great joy. In the beginning she tries to hide the smile, but it still appears. it appears in the middle portion of the lips says vishwanath chakravarti tako now when krishna saw this slight smile that appeared for an instant he began to think it will certainly spread more mm. so uh yes shimati radharani's beautiful mind enchanting smile which starts to rise or blossom forth from the middle of her uh, lips is something that makes one immediately very happy and makes one feel very close to her let us like all this take a short moment of our time turn in our mind to shimati radharani and pray or meditate or just stay in her presence